Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay, Diablo 3 Reaper Souls video. Guys, much, much, much needed improvement here. I just got my new laptop. I bought a brand new laptop. Um, that's on top of the old laptop that I bought, which was also, uh, I considered new as well. I had a Asus Republic of Gamers laptop. Uh, it was a good machine. It had uh, the 4700 processor, uh, Intel i7. It had uh, an NVIDIA graphic card there, 770. It had uh, two gigabyte virtual RAM on it. That's my old one. So guys, we just picked up uh, uh, an MSI Dominator, the GT70 model. And uh, guys, so far I've tried to they come with. Um, let me see here, uh, XSplit Gamecast or software for recording video. I've been playing around with it. I had a problem hearing my audio. So this is kind of like my fifth try doing it and, and trying to uh, to dial it in to make it sound good. But guys, what a difference in the gameplay quality. No lag whatsoever. Everything is nice and clear. Our frames per second right now just sitting in town obviously is right around 90, 85, 90. Um, I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. This MSI is top-notch quality, guys. And um, it's got the i7-4810MQ, I believe, processor. It has the NVIDIA 880 GTX card with uh, 5 gigabytes virtual RAM on the graphic card and uh, 24 gigs of RAM. And this laptop is, is definitely doing its job, you know, like there's no issues with it whatsoever. And it's completely out of the out of the, the realm of, of Asus Republic of Gamers. Like the, you, you, it's like apples and oranges, you just can't compare them. So we're going to actually bring put it to the test and go do, I think I got a yeah, small level 22 uh, greater rift token here. And I got this game on max settings, guys. Now, on my Asus, I had to run everything at low settings. Um, you see, everything is high. Low effects is not clicked. Anti-aliasing uh, is off. On my Republic of Gamers, I had to put everything on off or low, and I had to put low effects and anti-aliasing on, and it was still friggin' lagging. So, we're going to see what happens here. The graphics overall are so much more smooth, um, and when you, when you have smoother graphics and, and faster gameplay, overall you're you're, you're just going to die less. You're going to be able to strategically get away from death, and that's how a game should be played. And why am I having such a hard time beating that elite? Where's my dog? Oh, there we go. I need my dog. Uh, we should have no problem whatsoever with this rift, guys. It's only level 22. MSI. Guys, let me tell you something. I shopped around. I was looking around for uh, different laptops. And I know, like, amongst my group of friends and stuff like that, when we consider gaming laptops, you most often hear, oh, Alienware, Alienware. Let me tell you my opinion on Alienware. Overpriced for what you get. Now, I was looking at... Uh, an assortment of different laptops, including Razer, Origin, Asus. I went back and looked at their stuff. MSI, Alienware. And in my opinion, guys, Alienware is nothing but an overpriced piece of junk. Not a piece of junk. I mean, I, you know, it's it's a great it's a great machine. You know, it's I think it's all owned by Dell now. But um, you know, they're they're great units. There's there's no doubt there. But for the components on the inside of these laptops, you're going to get the same thing with MSI or Origin or whatever, and you're paying significantly less for better stuff. My budget with this laptop was $2,500. Now, I could have went with something with Alienware for $2,500 and had less components, uh, less quality components, I should mention. So um, keep that in mind when you're getting your gaming laptops. You know, like there's there's better options out there. You don't have to stick with, uh, you know, the popular brand like Alienware. Oh, I was kind of stuck in that rock there. <clears throat> what a big, big difference. And guys, please give me your input. If you're watching this video and you see a big difference in the quality of the video, uh, please comment. Let me know that, that, you know, that it's working and it's much better. I realize the webcam, I have a light right here illuminating the room and I think it's kind of casting like almost like a thermal, thermal image off of my face. I look like the Terminator. Wow, these graphics are just fabulous to look at, guys. I, I, I never thought that it could be this much better. And I mean, 
I paid, and I'm not joking, I paid almost $3,000 for that Republic of Gamers laptop. And I mean, it wasn't old. It was it was new when I bought it, so I mean, and it just wasn't cutting it, you know? Like, and I'm, I'm sit down and you think to yourself, like, my God, how did I get away with this stuff? Like, in my opinion, Asus Republic of Gamers laptops are complete garbage. I mean, if you can't run OBS and Diablo 3 on the, the lowest possible settings, you're getting screwed for 3000 bucks. Now, you know, no offense to anyone who might own um, a Republic of Gamers system. Maybe you got one that was better than the one that I had. But um, for that price point, mm -mm, no thanks. You can keep it. I've heard a lot of good things about MSI. And in the background here, I have a couple of web pages open. I'm downloading something. There's definitely some processes going on in the background, including the recording software. So, um, and I think we're playing here right around uh, 60 frames a second, 50. So that's not bad, you know. 50 frames per second, but all that stuff running in the background is it's awesome. I think I might have been getting eight with the Republic of Gamers. It was so bad that it it would just completely freeze the video capture. Well, as you guys know, you've seen it. Anyway, I was getting messages from people saying, you know, we'd love to to support the channel and whatnot and watch the videos, but man, it's painful to watch. <laughs> yeah, I can see where they're getting at, man. It was pretty horrible. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. If I'm watching videos on YouTube and I happen to come across a video that's, you know, not very good quality, uh, I just tend to skip it and go to the next, you know. So I guess I really can't expect other people to do what I wouldn't. So guys, since this is running smooth, I'm just going to kind of go through my character here. For all of you who didn't watch my uh, my last video, I made a lot of changes to my Witch Doctor. Uh, both skills and gear have been changed. Um, pretty well, basically, because I found one item. One item. And that was the Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan. And I put them on, and since I'm wearing them... I'm not moving. I'm not standing still, so I decided not to use a spender. As you can see, my uh, my main skill here is uh, my primary skill is the uh, Puranado, and my secondary is the dog. So no spender whatsoever. Having said that, I don't need to use uh, fetish psycho fans. And this build seems to be working better than my old build. I'm definitely doing more DPS because I swapped out the fetish psycho fans for gruesome feasts, and every time I pick up a health globe my damage goes up even more. So more DPS means, uh, you know, you're more efficient. You're going to be a lot more efficient in finding more legendary items and just killing monsters a heck of a lot faster. And god damn, this is good quality. <laughs> Fuck me, it's so good. Where's this laptop been all my life? Man, this is nuts. Now again, I'm just using the built-in webcam, which, uh, from what I see, it's supposed to be shooting in 1080 uh, high-definition graphics. So, uh, I guess when it comes time to process the video and upload it to YouTube, we'll see how it comes out. Because nothing's really definitive until it's like YouTube certified, right? <clears throat> I was having a, a big problem with the audio at first, like, you could not hear me. It was really, really bad. I could hear the gameplay no problem, but my voice was kind of like... You could hear it, but you, oh, it's awful. So uh, I think I might have got it figured out. I think I might have uh, tweaked the ranges there and kind of mixed it so it sounds a little better. And we're almost done this rift. And again, guys, no hate on anybody who's using a, an ASUS ROS or Republic of Gamers, the ROGs. You know, much respect, much respect. I just hope you had better luck than I had with your machines. And he's going down pretty fast. Again, it was just level 22, guys. Nothing big. Oh, we got a unique amulet. A unique. A legendary amulet. Some legendary boots. Ah, uh, looks like them crappy bow janglers. I find those all the time. Ah, uh, looks like I can go spend some blood shards. I've been saving them up for my, uh... For my demon hunter. But I'll go and try to find a, uh... Witching hour belt here. I'll go spend a hundred of them. Guys, this was fantastic. I can't get over it. Not one bit of lag. 
I don't think my frame rate went down below 45, but I haven't, I wasn't really paying attention there. Um, all I can say is, wow, like I'm very impressed, you know, for the, for the budget on this laptop, the $2,500, you know, in, in terms of gaming, you don't really get too much for 2,500 bucks, believe it or not. A lot of people might say, damn, you know, that is a lot of dough for a, any type of computer, but no, not for, for multimedia, for gaming and stuff like that. 2,500 bucks seems to be right around average. You can get some gaming laptops for right around a thousand to 2,000, but they're going to be kind of like on the lower end of the, the gaming spectrum. Um, but I mean, I've seen some gaming laptops four or five thousand bucks, you know. And I mean, you know, it's not that I didn't have the money to buy a four or five thousand dollar laptop. I do have that money, but um, you know, it was just kind of overkill. I mean, I just want to play Diablo three, you know, and have a recording software going. So um, this seems to be doing it. So let's see those crappy boots. Yeah, that's no good. And the amulet is that squirt's necklace, which is a piece of crap. All right, no biggie, no biggie. Go get our exp here. A fine battle. Boom. So yeah, next video, guys, I'm going to do uh, an in-depth look at my at my character, what I'm doing different as opposed to what I was doing before, what's working for me and what's getting me further in these greater rifts, and uh, what's making me just completely face roll T6, guys. T6 doesn't give me any problems whatsoever. I can do everything. Actually, I was in a room. I was doing a service on JSP. I was carrying three other people, three other witch doctors, and um, I never died. I was still face rolling everything. And like they were all impressed with my damage, right? And, and they couldn't believe that the build that I had was working. So, um, you know, I'll go very much in depth with that. So until, uh, until that movie comes, guys, it'll be either tonight or tomorrow. I will see you guys in the next movie.